Well, this is the place. Green cookies. I've playing with some of it offers, but other than that, I don't like it. It's not a very good spectator sport for me. I much prefer playing. Okay, well, maybe I have a feeling I'm going to run into the door all the time. She's got a part time job now. Hey, yeah, she works at, up at this Florida Pacific Center. She works in the fitness center. She just kind of logs people in and out. I'm pretty sure. Well, yeah. She likes it. I mean, when my friend started, literally, she won't let me forget this. When she told me she was dating him, the first thing I. Yum, yum. Corresponding membership. Nominations for the Best Performance Awards in June. The business manager reminded everyone about the late savings time. The next meeting held by April and May. Garden update. There's two tomatoes there. And there's a red one down in there. The blueberries. A couple of them have started turning blue. Cucumber and uh, Eggplant not doing too good. One of the lemon trees is still alive. The rosemary looks like it's having a bad hair day. And the peppers are hanging in there like we all are. The grapes are doing okay this year. I'm pleasantly surprised. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I have quite a few little clusters. Really nice. So I attended the Alpha Player Summer Gala board election, uh, board membership election thingy today. The pool has salt water in it instead of uh, chlorine. Wow, what a cool pool. I mean, it was so neat. You could float in it and every. I mean, just besides my fat, I really was floating in there because of the salt water, I think. And uh, mostly the young ones went in the pool. I went in the pool. I was hot. And uh, then we had like little catch as catch can uh, potluck type thing. All my little potatoes and all my little pigs in a blanket went quickly actually. Then we had voting for the different things. President, vice president, treasurer, recording secretary, business manager, which is what they had me down for to take care of props and scenery and set and everything. And they had one person running against me who wasn't even there, and he got voted for it. Boy, that makes you feel kind of bad. Because people, half people are going, who is that again? Who is that Steve? What's his name? They didn't even know who it was, but they voted for him instead of me. And the lady I wanted president, who I know would run it, the organization and do the job as they're supposed to, without prejudice and without mamby-pamby whiny pissiness she didn't make it. The other lady that made president I was hoping she wouldn't. I mean, she's a nice person and all but she's ultra-religious and she lets her ultra-religiousness get in the way of everything. <sighs> so they have a group of close-knit cliquish little people running it again and they brought it up in the meeting. There's two days that we're allowed to have the theater for in August. It's only two days. What can we do? Can we make some revenue? And I said, I suggested Reader's Theater because you can get actors from everywhere. They don't have to memorize lines. They just have to kind of know what they're reading. And you stand on stage. You put all emotions in it and everything when you read. So it's like listening to a radio show, but it's live. Oh, that idea was poo-pooed. I'm thinking, why? You don't need, uh, you don't need really any preparation or anything. You don't have to go through lots of costume or anything. It saved them so much money. Apparently, they lost. They made five hundred dollars on Odd Couple, and when they did Your Good Man Charlie Brown, they lost three hundred three thousand dollars due to the rights and all that stuff. 
So all these shows that they think are going to do well, and now the one that's voted president now, she wants to do two musicals a year, and that's not feasible financially. It's just not feasible. No one's, people aren't going to go to that many shows. So I'm really disappointed. I'll still help out with some of the scenery, but I don't ever think they're ever going to choose me for anything even apart again. They're very... It's like high school. I hated high school. Yeah. Presently it's it's still hot, but I, there's a breeze where I'm sitting here on the porch in the back patio. It's covered. And I'm still kind of, my suit's still damp from being in that pool. So I'm just going to lay here for a little while. Maybe I'll call my brother and get that over with. And uh, I've been feeling really down. And the stupid board meeting thing didn't help at all. The way those people behave, like high school. Like, God, you would think that they would be a little more mature. It's almost like you're sorry you went, you know? I'm having a really hard time, like I said the other day. Still having a hard time. No air conditioning in the car, and the house is just barely cooler than it is out here. And hopefully that air conditioner will keep running. Because summer hasn't really descended upon us yet. It's still waiting to pounce. Oh. I don't know. I didn't sleep last night. I slept about three hours this morning and I'm just really, really bumming. Gotta come up with something. I do have a poem that I'm writing. It's a very caustic poem. It's in the vein of Allen Ginsberg about America. He wrote one about America. Yeah, more about that later. I think I'm just going to veg out, maybe turn into a vegetable. What should I turn into? Broccoli. I like broccoli. Upward and onward.